one second. I hope this turns out a halfway decent cup. Let's wipe it out. In case there's any well water. The well water tastes nasty. I've never made this combination before. But we're going to go ahead and do it. Okay. Let's see here. So this is the fruit we have. Got miracle fruit. Lemon drop mango steam and the tanga tuba. First, we're gonna shake the tanga tuba and just squeeze out the juice like such. Okay, we don't want any pulp, we just want juice. Tanga tuba squeezed out. There's one, two. What up, Ray? There's the third thing it's here, three. See, I got some juice now, look at that. These are ones off of my tree that has the elongated fruit. There's a little, another little tiny thing of tube off another tree. I don't know, we'll tell you in a second. Maybe it tastes like piss. Okay, now these are some lemon drop mango steams. Not much juice in these. More of a clear, clear juice. whitish color put in about four of them imagine a juice bar would you guys come into my juice bar I wear gloves and clean my fingernails I promise how much would this one cost twelve dollars eighty four cents maybe fifteen you know shit I dropped a piece of skin in it I think that's never a good thing Clark's outside. Now, here's the hard part. These are miracle fruits, which don't have a lot of juice in them. But I'm just gonna... This is what I'm doing. I'm just squeezing them fuckers in there. Just, well, I'm getting seeds in. Maybe I gotta strain this shit. Seeds are just dropping in out of the miracle fruit and skin. And not much juice going in. The miracle fruit was just a stunt, alright? That was just to be silly. That was just a stunt. But we're going to continue on with the stem. Is there any juice coming out at all? Yeah, look, there's miracle fruit juice in the drink, if you believe it or not. There's a juice in there. All right. I got one over here that I could eat, actually, before I drink it. So that it works. But maybe I shouldn't do that. There's gonna... Normally, you got to eat the miracle fruit first. But I'm going to try to make it to where I don't have to eat it first. I just juiced it. All right. Stir that up a little bit. We could add some more lemon drop mangosteen juice. Just gonna keep squeezing them out. I got more. These are a little bit green, but that doesn't matter because the uh, now I need some raw eggs, huh? Clark would drink it, wouldn't he? Here's a nice one. These are the shoes I got for skateboarding. They're nice. Lakai, Brighton, $60 a pair. I got a, a black pair, and they didn't have any more black ones left. So I had to get a white pair, and I'm pissed about the, the white pair. But I may just, um, I may stain them with charcoal to make them gray or some shit. Okay. I think we're good on the juices. Oh, I didn't realize I had more miracle fruit. I could ju I could keep adding some miracle fruit. Look, the little juice came out. Juice came out on that. Oh, I see some Jabba de Cabas in here. 
Damn. Uh, look, Jabbity Cabo is not a lot, but. Ooh, got some juice on that one. Uh, a little Jabbo juice on that, okay. shopping oh rose look at all the seeds look at all this what went into that that's all the fruit all of that made there's some peel in there i gotta get out imagine me serving this up everything will be fine my fingernails are clean today un exceptionally clean even though they're still filthy around the edge okay there you have it. And you're going to have to cut that with some waters. Not too much. Just a little bit. There we go. Now. Hey, Clark. Come to, come, come trip off this pimp juice, daddy. You put me in a wormhole. Sorry. It's okay. Yeah. You want to take I want to take it. I want to slam it. Wait, no, I can, you can give you all that shit. I want half of that. Not even, I can give you half of it, but. All right, now look, let's get you something to drink it out of. Hey, friends. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. That's mine, too. I, want... <laughs> I came running. Nice. I'm going to put, sorry, I want to put it in this cup. Is that all right? Yeah, that's right. All right, now here's the trick with this, Clark, is you're going to have to, uh... Shit. Try I'm going to put an egg in there. Don't do that. Now, you have to take... I think we're going to have to eat a miracle fruit first. Because that was... Well, the, let me taste it. Don't drink too much. Okay. Need sweetener. Well, then you would want miracle fruit. Here, eat one. No, it's not tart. Too much water? That's it. I don't think so, personally. These are rare fruits. I can't afford it. So I ate a miracle fruit. I'm letting that settle in. I'm gonna set this down. Yeah, it's it's. This make it it'd be a nice uh, be nice over ice. Yeah. Ooh, it's really good with the miracle fruit, man. I'm telling you. Mm. In all honesty, mm. it tastes just like passion fruit juice. Mm. It yeah, it does. It tastes exactly like passion fruit. Uh, I that was damn good. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Thank you. Yeah. I liked it, but Clark is right. I mean, I watered it down because you saw how much it took forever to, you know what I mean? Like, well, I was in the chat and I'm all, like, before you add water, I'm all, I'll slam that right now. No, I couldn't give it to you like that because this, look at all the fruit. This weighs about, a, about, um, this weighs like almost a half a pound, it feels like. So I didn't extract all the juice. That'd be good uh, for compost. Yeah, like I'm gonna feed it you to can my. Put it at the base of the trees. The mealworms will eat it. Oh yeah. I give it to my mealworms so that the beetles have something to eat. You take the scraps like this. Get the seeds out. Skins are good. I've got thousands of mealworms and they're doing really well. 
put them in a nice air conditioned corner and then just keep adding chicken feed to it and some vegetables and fruit and leaves and shit, but not too much because you don't want it to get wet. And you can keep them open and I feed them all sorts of scraps and they just keep coming, man. They keep coming. Non-GMO chicken feed. The most of them is in this. There's one, two, three. This has got shitload at the base. But I've got probably maybe like 20,000 mealworms. And then if I have a sick chicken, I'll use them to nurse it back to health. And then I use them as treats for my chickens too. <laughs> I guess we'll go outside, take a look around. But that was really a uh, powerful juice. I liked it. I wish I could make that all the time. But it wouldn't be cost effective for me. This is another miracle fruit tree over here. It's got some fruit coming in. Big tree. <laughs> Roundish. I almost swallowed the seed. The Mircearia guamarata. I wish it would set a fruit. It sure flowers, but it doesn't fruit yet. It's only been flowering for a couple years, but. Here's old buddy chicken. What's up, buddy? What's up, old buddy? <clears throat> Ow, that shit hurt. She does this dance on my leg. That shit hurt. She started to like peck and scratch and shuffle her feet. You're a, you're a crazy bird. <laughs> no, ow, fuck. She just pecked my wound so hard. Ah, fucking these things are like vultures, dude. You think they're your friends and she... Ah, she drew blood on that. You filthy bird. Fuck, that hurt. All right. They're not your friend. Don't eat your body. Ah, fuck. <coughs> so like, you got a wound right there. Let me pack that for you. This uh, grafted ESAOQ has been flowering. Hasn't fruited yet. But... picked a bunch of a bunch of these off of the tree the other day bush whatever the hell look at on the left is the anona salzmania i grafted and on the right is the anona muricata soursop look at the difference look how much taller that one gets 
grows a lot faster. You jump up on my leg. I need something to balance on. Come on up. Come on up. That's the one that does it there. The one that... Anyway. This is this wire mesh material. It's great. Hey, dude. You mind saying hello to my viewers? What kind of stuff they got you on today, brother? Oh, no, don't bite me. Got a little cameo from a bumblebee. I thought it was sick or dying, but it was just on rest mode. This has always been an interesting tree, and I nicknamed it Lazarus because it likes to die and come back to life all the time. You can see some of the dead branching here where it likes to die back a lot. I've thought it's been dead several times. It always likes to die back. And you gotta break off the dead stuff. What, buddy? Gotta love the new growth on it. I think I'm gonna spread some fertilizer today. This is a hybrid. Look at that pretty chicken there. Billy. Hey, your ear looks good. Her ears sometimes get swollen and I have to take her in. It looks good. She looks real good. Real healthy. Thank you, Jesus. Just happy she looks good. It's a trunk of flora hybrid, I think. It's always been a funky, funky tree. I love the way the leaves look. Real big. aphids on there. Variegated Grimachama. Who wouldn't love that leaf? Let's see if we can see like any cool designs in there. Um, no, but I swear that's like a blue color, wouldn't you say? in there that bluish color <laughs> as close to blue as I've ever seen on a leaf this tree has Like a gray green. I wonder like if there's like a color spectrum analyzing computer program that will say exactly what shade we're looking at here. But anyway. And then you see where some parts are getting a little extra too green. And I have to cut that back every once in a while. I'll, I'll cut it back. And I would never air layer the part that's going green and sell that. You know, it's got to have a really good, pa really good pattern. Good pattern, man. Clark mode, and it looks real good. That's a Schatzer's hybrid grafted tree. Growing really well. And you see this kind of shit? I think that just goes with um, the season being real hot and wet. As long as you see some new growth coming out like that, you're doing good. I'm gonna fertilize these trees again because it's getting towards, ooh, really pretty over here. Like, choo -choo, gulf fritillary. Oh, it, it took off. I ruined, ruined nature. So that's a coronata, the regular kind of coronata with the really big fruit. Oh, look, it's come back. It just wants a place to sit undisturbed.
I wonder where it's gonna go. I like this tree a lot. Real pretty, like a trunk of flora hybrid, I think. The leaves don't have any like tip burnt. Well, they do now, but they could be worse. This is decently adapted for our area here. Look at the bark there. Kind of cute. Wish it would flower maybe in another couple years. I've got one of these grafted. We haven't started to sell it yet, though. Okay, this one, one that we think it could be like a trunk of flora hybrid that really takes after the red, but it gets these little fruit on it. We're going to taste this and see what I think. Oh, I had a miracle fruit. Really good. Yeah, I had a miracle fruit, so that's not fair. Oh, look. ESALQ. It's got fruit set. That's kind of cool. I think it's the first time for it to fruit set. And there's more flowers coming up. This is a Novax. And I've seen these flower from the first year of grafting really quick, but this one, of course, it's not flowering because it's my tree. There's your um, Eugenia Itaguahiensis. The seed broke apart, the one that I just, I tried to clean it up and it broke apart and hit three pieces. You know, they'll, they'll grow like that too. That seed busted up into three separate pieces. Let's go ahead and make it a buddy tree and put it down there at the base of here. Maybe we'll get something out of that, that one day. Good luck. Yeah, good luck, buddy. Hmm. This is uh, Eugenia Patricia. It's got a little runt fruit, I think, in there somewhere. A little runt shit fruit that ain't worth eating. Let's seed this. And we'll give it some fertilizer. Yeah, my trees are making a lot of these seedless runt fruits. They did flower, and I had several trees flowering all together at once. I got one that was almost not a runt fruit, but still kind of was a runt. My other Eugenia Patricia. The Sapucaya little crop on it. I think these are all going to be runt, runt fruit because it's too wet, but it's interesting to see it. Holding on, buddy. It's got some activity. I might have to put a grate around this tree. I'm definitely going to graft from that one, though. It looks really, really, really fast fruiting. Nice tree. I got to pull weeds at the base of this tree. I'm scrubbing out the bottom of my pool to get the algae out, and it's coming along. Oh, a cricket found its way into the to the pool of death. He smells a little bleachy. trying to get a chicken there's a cricket they can't see it i don't think a little bleach would hurt them look there's a bleach cricket bleach cricket if the chicken gets sick i'll let you know there's the grafted paulista been a very strong performer tree it does a lot better as a grafted tree than it does as a seedling. I'm just here to let you know, at my property, that's the rule of thumb with these Paulistas, okay? Looks like a little bit too much water for these uh, guacuayas. You get some tip dieback maybe from that heat and water. 
But they're strong tree. <laughs> I wish this would flower. It grows fine, but it doesn't flower. I've heard these take many, many years, 20 years or more. For some reason in, in my area, it take a really long time to flower, even as a grafted tree. So I, I don't know when it's gonna flower or what it's thinking, but it ain't doing shit as far as flowers go. Now I have another one over here. It's a grafted Paulista. It came from a guy named Paul Thompson in California. I got a big mature cutting from his tree and it's been on an up and downhill battle where it dies and comes back and it was in fine shape, but I planted it out and it was planted too deep. It's really my fault. But look, this is a good sign. It's starting to peel. So uh, I fertilized it. I've transplanted it. It's got some ants at the base, it looks like, or it did at one point. But it's gonna come out of it. It's just had a bad life. Take a hike. Every kind of bug is on this fruit there. I just wanted one to eat, but I don't see it. Oh, they're at the very top. This is a little shitty acerola ornamental one. Looks like Clark may have pulled the weeds on it. Like he noticed it there and he spruced it up. Cause this thing, I've ne I never do anything for it. And it's still alive after all these years. It's real pretty. They called it Sweet Bob after the guy in um, Treehouse Nursery. It's a pretty. It's, it's really just an ornamental. Easy to propagate from cutting. I don't even think the chickens eat the fruit. The texture is really mealy. And they're not sweet. This one died back to the ground. And it is Artocarpus lacucha. It had flowers and fruit setting. Damn, my burn pile's grown over. I'm gonna have to set that on fire eventually. I wish it would go ahead and flower again. It was flowering before. Look at that. Looks like a potato beetle or something. Some kind of nasty beetles. They're fun to look at. Let's get a better shot. I don't think I don't think the chickens would eat them, or else I'd try to feed them to them. But what? What have you guys done? Look at you walking away from the scene of the crime. They're up to no good. What the hell are these? They all jetted out. They all went their separate way. Oh no, they're under here. Assholes, man. I'm gonna let it ride this time, though, because you look cool. And y'all stay in a group. Tight-knit unit. Get out of here. You think your chickens eat them? Let's try that out, eh? So you pop a... Hey, chickens, look. look. Bugs. Do you eat bugs? Look. Come here. Hey, come here. Look, bugs, bugs, bugs. Get them. Come on. Come here. They're not. This would be the one to do it. She sees them. She just doesn't want them. Yeah, she sees him there. 
She's like, you don't eat those things. What do you think? I'm stupid. Quiet. I lost connectivity, I guess, because I got down low. Like I said, for sale on eBay. And this is your um, Dovialis Hybrid Tropical. It fruits several times per year. Same cold tolerance as like a guava. Really easy to grow. I made a little grotto here in between my two rooted cuttings that I planted out. And you can sit there and grotto out. These are some uh, pitangas, just zildarks. But it's nice to have fruit this time of year when a lot of stuff isn't fruiting. I think I just saw a fruit fly try to fly away. You see the one with the hurt foot? He's still got a little hurt foot. <laughs> they don't like the Zildark. Oh, that one eats them. That was a perfectly ripe Zildark fruit. And they all said, eh, fuck that. Wow. They didn't give. <laughs> I got to look at his toe and make sure it's not getting bad again. I had him on the antibiotics. And I probably still need to treat it. And I missed his dose for the last day or so. So I'm going to keep him on it. It's less swollen, but his toe is still relatively swollen. I don't, I don't much plan to get rid of anything here. It would be ones that I don't plan to propagate. And they're all sorts of trees like that. Some of them are just seedlings that turned out to not be so good. Now this is one that I just planted. Wow, it's wilted already. I seriously just planted this and it wasn't wilted at all. It was perfect. And now it's like wilted. And it's some kind of syzygium. It was just perfect before I planted it. I took it out of the greenhouse. I didn't water it or anything. I just planted it up. So maybe it'll die. What I need is some of this shit for the bottom of it. The chickens will probably tear it apart even worse if I put that at the bottom of it though. There's some really good mulch that accumulates, I guess, from the rains. Yeah, chickens are gonna tear it apart. I figured the ground was wet, it would be fine. No, no. Wilted. Something that sucks, that would be good. <laughs> Off the top of my head, I can't remember, but you know, that happens all the time. They're out there, homie. Fruits that suck that you thought would have been good. I, I would have to rack my brain for a little bit, but I know it exists. Probably a Suriname cherry that someone said was good that just wasn't. You know, that usually happens. Got to pull some weeds over in this region. This garden is a lot of stuff going on here, you know what I mean? Just trying to keep everything in water. A little bit of like thrip damage going on up here, you know? Plenty of salticola. This is an interesting ESALQ seedling. Look at the leaf on it. Real tiny. 
kind of got some thrip damage, but. This is that one that's a Grimmel Anomaly Hybrid, and it grows very well. And I'd like to see what it does over the years. It's got that interesting hole in it that formed somehow. A little diamond hole. No flowers on it yet. But it really reminds me of this other tree that may be a hybrid as well. You know, I, I smell the leaves. The, this one is a... It looks like a, a, it's what I have, you know, as an anomaly grimmel. And you can kind of feel that on the leaf. It's very soft. It's got a very, very soft leaf. Uncharacteristically soft. And then over here is the other one that reminds me of that tree right here. But this one, when I feel the leaf, not quite as soft. This one could be a, like, ESALQ crossed with... Um, you know, the Grimmel or the uh, Sabra. It seems like a hybrid, this tree. And I, it's just hard for me to keep track. It, this one looks like it would have came from my ESALQ. But look at the bark and the way it grows. It's very similar to the other. But this one has a much, it seems to have a, pa a paler bark color to it. All sorts of crazy ass bugs on me. And this one's more of a, an orange kind of color to it. You see that color's a little different? This one's more of like an orange green is what I get out of that. Like a kind of like a almost like a bronze green color. But man, they look so similar as far as just superficially. This one's got a bigger leaf. But then this one isn't as bronze green. It's more of like a like a tan, a tan green kind of thing. More of a whitish anyhow but i like the leaf the leaf on that look at that leaf it's unusual not like anything i have the growth habit is very weepy all over the place some kind of hybrid for sure just came up from my seeds looking weird man i mean i guess it could be a mutant too can't, you can't rule out mutations. So it's not definitely a hybrid, but it looks like a hybrid. So that's one. And then this is the other one. A little anomaly Grimmel hybrid. And it is doing pretty well. Very slow growing, short one. Same age as that one right there. Look at that difference. Look how tall and, and, and reachy. This is the one that I've got my eyes on for future development. But you're years away from seeing that hit the streets. But now look at the new growth on that. If you were to cross a Grimmel and Anomaly, that's what would come out the leaf looking like. You know, some of the time, not all of the time. But look at that. That, that, that. that rings true to me. If you've seen the two of them together, that looks about right. You've got a more peach kind of pale color. The, the leaf is very soft on these, even though it's stiff too. It's like it's stiff but soft. She's like, uh-huh, tell me more. Where do I scratch at? Hmm? Where do I break it at? Hmm? You just want to be close to daddy. Well, come on up here, man. Get close. Get close, man. Let's get close. Let's just come together. You know what I mean? You tell your chicken people, and I'll tell my people down in D.C. We want to come together and get some kind of operation going here. Maybe out of Mena, Arkansas. Hey, I'll tell your kids to go over by the train track. We're going to set them up, keep everything straight. You can trust me. Don't be a chicken. He's mad. That's that one eye. He likes these two get along. The one eyed chicken and her get along, bro. 
I know. How'd you guys get me talking like that? Tell you what, you get out on the poultry farm. Reminds me of my days when I was with my dad and my granddaddy. Had a poultry farm. I kid you not. We'd get out there and get them fed about five in the morning. You let them out. You never know a coyote is going to get them a stray dog, hawk. It's a rough lifestyle coming out of Arkansas. Pat him on the chest like that. Makes him confident like a pit bull, huh? Huh? Big guy. Who's this big guy? Thank you. I got more over here. It's a corner on the cop, man. Here's this one again, the blue, the blue guacuea. It gets die back every once and again if it's too wet or hot. I think this does very well. It's nice to see this thing alive. I always say that. Let's see a look at the bark here. I'm gonna try to graft it. Yeah, someone burned a hole in my pants. You heard that story how he's getting behind people and uh, dry heaving on them. Um, if you will. Well, this is a whole nother podcast that I can't get into now, now but if you want to get into my past, there's a little bit of buddy tape on that still. Look at that. This is that Asian variety called, um, look at that. Look at that ball it got. Big old knot at the base. Yeah, that's that four centimeter one. I sold some of these on eBay, but I don't have a lot. Oh, yeah, Pope Fiction sound. Chickens like that. They're like running to hit the deck. Yeah, I love Gimp. This is that one that um, Spirito Santensis I grafted in a video at the same time as PDM. And the PDM lost the race, man. Look at that. That's funny, though. Thanks, Rebel Point Farms. Look at that coming out with all that new growth. I would hope this would flower soon. It's, just, it's freaking 12 feet tall. This is the Myrcearia, I think, Cuspidata. It's been a very strong tree, easy to grow, very slow at first. But I imagine it would fruit <laughs> relatively soon. Like I said, I need to come through and fertilize a lot of these, pull weeds. This kind of shit, you know? It's got a cool bark. Wait, planea. This would be a planea. I would call this a planea. Because look at the bark. That ain't no mere cereal, man. That's a planea right there. To me, that look like a planea bark on that boat. Luke's Garcinia, not yet. Flowers, but I need a male, I think. Think to help pollinate. And then that's someone that looks a lot like it. Plenty of Revolaris. Be nice if this would just fruit early. 
Got a little, the bark is real smooth and red. Looks like um, Vexator almost. The leaf is real soft though. This is a very difficult one to grow for me. So it always has trouble. Yeah, man. And then Patanga tuba, that looks funny. Flowering, but not setting fruit. Oh, wait. Maybe it will set a fruit. Let's see. This is how you test it. Take your finger to one that you think is set, and then just touch it a little bit. Oh, you lose, asshole. Your fruit don't set. So that's how you find out. It's just touch it with your finger a little bit. And if it falls off, that means you lose, asshole. Come back next season. No, I'm not doing a lot of the Adam Moyas right now. It's time for these young bucks to step up their Adam Moya game. I fall off, man. I fell off. I fell off. I used to have it all Adam Moya wise. I sold my collection. But you know, I should go check on the um let's go check on that red sugar apple to see if it's ready to rip off. Do 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 do. Look at all this shit Clark's repotted. It's like a sea of green, man. Now, let's take a look at this. Is ready. Oh, that's ready, Freddy. That's when they're ready. Woohoo. Uh, it's all I'm going to get soft on the tree. Now, look. You take it like this and then pull up. Oh, and then twist. You don't need no pruners. I do. Uh. That's, that's when they're beauty. when they're ready. That's what they look like. They're popped. You know what I mean? That sucker's popped, like a piece of popcorn. Yeah, just don't squeeze it. It's like a piece of art. Don't fuck it up. Let's see it from the other side, though. That's no the other side. Yeah, that's the way to look at that. Look at the that. There's, <laughs> that was a good one. Uh, COVID Carl or whatever the fuck. John Burgleguts or whatever the fuck. He said that you're a crisis actor and you were at Pulse nightclub during the shooting. <laughs> That's fucked up, man. You Tell should, him shush. Shush. You fucking crisis actor calling out person you. You're not supposed to know about that. He was on the scene like Omar Mateen. But now he can't be seen. I don't believe that. Now this is what I like about these, is if you look close, look into the between, in the meantime and then between time. The between colors are like fire, man. I love that color scheme. Like it's like electricity, right? <laughs> Love that, love that, David Hogg. If you want to talk about some of my favorite people of all times, when you start to mention D, back me up, Rooster. When you start to mention D Hogg, that's when I start to come be like, hey, wait a second. This kid is probably one of my. That's one of my. Not even a kid. He's a man. When I think of a man, I think of Hogg. Let it be known. I can't. I can't even remember that guy. That's so awesome. Why are all the chickens congregating over here? Some kind of crisis they're about to act out, possibly. They've all taken their positions as instructed. This is lead chicken. Grandma chicken. Look how old she looks, man. Ooh. These are all her prodigies. I love David Hogg. He's my favorite. If there could be trading cards for cool people that aren't into sports, I would want the David Hogg hologram card or whatever. And if I could get it autographed and then graded by uh, PSA or whatever it's called. Woo! So we did it.
We drank the juice. We drank the Kool-Aid in the beginning of the video. We went outside and we looked at the chickens and the fruits and we had us a wonderful time. And then when, and look, and I've got the right colored shirt on for that. I didn't even think about that, but that's the right colored shirt for all this. And we got this, this beautiful chukar apple. Let's see if we can get a good screenshot. Now the lighting isn't right, but maybe I can get my, um, my, what's it called? My profile pic. If I could get like the lighting on it, right? Like, will they give it to me? See? Trying to, you know how they, they give you sometimes the, I just can't get the lighting right. Like the camera has to be like that. Sure. Look how white I get. Boy, I'm white. Anyway. It's all right. I'm going to get some tanning done where I turn myself a more orange color. I'm going to go into a tanning bed very soon. It's on my list. I wonder if I could spray off those bugs that we have on it real quick. Let's see. Yeah, they're coming off. The bugs are spraying off, guys. No pesticides needed. Hey, let's get a look at this, guys. Hold on. Get a load of this. They're coming right off. Oh, wow. Imagine that. No, no chemical, harsh chemical stuff needed. Wow, this is it. This is what they've been talking about. As seen on TV. I, I just, um... Got off all those bugs with just water at the sink. Remember the bugs that were on? Well, maybe not all of them, but a good a good majority of them I got off. Remember, it was kind of covered in those mealy bugs, but that's market ready, market fresh. You know, I, I did try to freeze dry some sugar apple. It was disgusting. It really was disgusting. Oh, that looks good like that. That looks real good like that. Yeah, I'm going to get some pictures of that. So thank you for watching. I appreciate it. And then we're going to list some stuff on eBay again. Have a wonderful, wonderful. Tell everybody hey for me. Oh, yeah, the guy in the Flying Fox videos, honey. He said hey. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm going to go to the store and get some, uh, some Doritos. And then you tell the guy at the store, oh, by the way, Flying Fox said hey. Okay. I don't know what I'm even talking about. I'll just say hey. See you guys. Thank you.